Okay, you guys, now I'm gonna show you how to skin your deer off the head. Um, this is something that a lot of people have been asking us about, and there's a lot of different ways you can do it, methods you can do it. This just works for us. So once you watch this video, maybe you find another way that works for you, great. I'm just hoping this video will help a lot of our hunters that go out of state and they're DIYers and they're caught in the field um, and they need to uh, do this in the field and they can get it done, okay? So hopefully you can see my cuts here. So what I'm gonna do is I do a V cut that goes down between the ears. So you'll wanna start from the back of the pedicle and cut away from you because therefore you come up under the hair, under the skin, and it cuts the least amount of hair, okay? So you see that? So there's my first one. Here will be my second. Okay, so right now I have my flap, all right? So you can go and you can peel that up and come back to the bird, all right? So now you've got your, your little V, and now you'll take your tail and go down six or eight inches, however far you need to go, straight down to get the neck meat out, okay? All right, so there you go. Everyone see that? So now, my personal preference is I start working on peeling the ears away. So you just start peeling the neck and peeling the ears. Okay? So you'll feel the ear butts right here, and you'll feel where they are when you start cutting on the skin. And as soon as you feel those, I know it's hard to see, but you can, you'll, you can feel it with your knife. That's where you wanna make your cuts to cut your ears off, okay? You can't do it wrong, so the farther back you are, the better. And then as you just keep peeling away around the pedicle, and see here I have the whole ear. I've cut it, I've cut the canal, and now I'm back to skin, okay? Now this is perfect, just how it is. You can leave it just like this, okay? Um, Cause then that will freeze very well. And this will be able to, you can pack, roll this up really small and freeze it and get it to your taxidermist. How important is it to keep the hide dry? Very important. Water breeds bacteria and so the worst thing is water on a hide. Um, I know a lot of people pack things in ice and that's perfect to keep things cold for a short amount of time, but our suggestion is always pull your drain plug on your coolers and if you had your druthers, you definitely wanna do dry ice. Um, have cardboard in between the actual animal itself and your dry ice and that will freeze it solid and it'll work perfect. So here I am going on the next side. I'm feeling that ear butt where it is. So I can feel it right there. And then you'll see the canal. You just cut right through the canal. And there we go. So now my focus is to get it down off the neck so I can start flipping it and as you can see, I'm continually working on the, the burr. And the best way to cut up, don't cut down, because if you cut down, you cut through the hair, you cut up, you cut skin first, and then it pulls away before your hair is cut. So here, as you can see, I'm at the end of the neck. Okay, so you just keep peeling it and it'll So now as soon as you get this off the neck, 
the next up, next thing is you're gonna start going to the face. Okay, so this is really all by feel, but once you do it once, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna keep continuing getting this off the pedicle, okay? So as you can see, we've got the ear canal here, okay, that I pulled away. You'll go past the horn, and what you do is you put your finger right by the eye and you can feel the eye bone. So when you start to cut, you'll be, I can feel that eye bone coming in right there and that means I know I'm gonna have the eye socket here. So right here, you see this little cup, C-shaped, right here? You can see my finger starting to move. That's where you cut it. See, right there's the eye, okay? So the best suggestion on that is you can never leave too much around the eye, okay? So here you go, so I've got my finger through the eye. See, so you'll see the eyelashes coming through. That's one thing that makes sure you leave your eyelashes to make a good mount, okay? So don't get in a hurry, just go slow. And then right past the eye is the tear duct. So the best way to do that, can you see that? Yep. Is make sure you get close to the bone as you can, like you're scraping the bone, okay? Scrape it and peel it, and you'll get that tear duct. And right there is the tear duct, okay? Um, and don't sweat it if you cut the tear duct. Um, you know, and with mule deer especially, mule deer and elk, it's really hard not to cut them because they're so deep. But just be patient and the, you'll get them. So here we go on the other side. This side I'm gonna kind of go a little faster and you guys can see it. We do it real quick. Always cut up around the pedicles. Yep, always cut up. Cause then you are keeping as much hair as possible with the hide. Okay, so now it's peeled away. Now I'm gonna go start looking for that eye socket. Okay, right here it is, that C shaped again. You put your finger in there, see? starts to get really thin. You can see my glove through there. Cut straight down, there's your eye. So, and then you'll see, this is the eyelid, okay? So make sure you get both, you'll have your slits on all the way through, and that's where you would cut, just inside of the slit next to the eye. Okay, go right along the bone, there's your tear duct. So if you get some of that eyelid, that's not a problem, right? Nope, not the at the all. Better. The more the better, because then I can take off what I don't need. But if I don't have it, I can't take it off. Okay, so now here we come to the mouth junction, all right? So again, you can go by feel, you know, um, this is the mouth tissue. So as soon as you start pretty much past the tear duct, you can cut your mouth tissue and that makes sure that you've left all the way to the corner of your mouth, okay? So what I do is I cut my mouth tissue, you see the teeth in there, okay? So now I can start peeling it and as again, you cut up. Can you see that, Jordan? Yep. So, So then here we go on the next side. Okay, so now we're just peeling this off like a sock. All right, so here's my tear duct. Straight down is the edge of the mouth. I go in just a little bit, and there we go. There's my teeth, okay? So when I, what I do is I do stick my finger in there and I keep pulling so I know I can feel where I'm at. 
all right? So, and this pretty much is the same on every animal as in the horned animals. So we've got mule deer, we've got whitetail, we've got elk, moose. Everything pretty much has the same anatomy. Um, and the same thing how it goes around the horns. They're just bigger and it takes you longer. So just be patient. Um, don't feel like you have to go as fast as I have gone on these. Okay, so one last thing that is pretty important is when we get to the nose and around the lips, make sure you cut as close to the inside of the mouth as possible. And you'll see the teeth, the bottom teeth, okay? That means that will ensure you that you've left enough lip. See, this is the inside of the lip. I've left nothing on the actual um, skull itself, okay? So here we are, we're to the nose, and you can kind of see where the cartilage starts. You'll start to feel it where there's cartilage. You just cut straight through that. Straight through that. Here, maybe you can see it better if I do that. So you go straight down, straight down, and then you'll cut where you can't cut anymore because there's bone there, and then that's when you go cut towards the front of the nose, okay? So, because you're, you're hitting the bottom of the, the, actually, the bottom of the top of the jaw. Does that make sense? So here's your nose that you're peeling off. And now you can tilt it, and you cut along your lip, okay? So see how I cut all the cartilage out that comes out? The septum and everything is going to come out with the cape, okay? So now you tip it over and you do this side. So make sure you get your, so here's your septum on this side. You pull it, okay? And then you're right here at the end of the nose and you just cut it off flush. So this is what it should look like when you have it out. So this is all the nose. This just really ensures that we can keep all these small hairs intact, okay? Um, a lot of people go all the way to the end of the nose and cut it. Well, that doesn't make a real good nose because then you're getting into the pad and into the insides of the nose. Um, so we really like to keep the insides of the nose intact. Um, it just makes a really a better mount. So and then here you want to finish your bottom lip. Okay. So and then that's what that looks like. Okay. When you're finished. You've got all your lips intact. Sorry. All right. You've got all your lips intact, your nose, okay? You've got your eyes, and then your earbuds. So our suggestion is, you're gonna take this cape when you're finished and straighten it out, get it nice and organized, okay, like this, and then, Wrap it up um, with the brisket first, and then we would like the head on top. The main reason is, is if you are freezing this or just putting it in a cooler, whatever's in the middle is going to freeze last. And with the head, it has um, all these really fine hairs in it, so it's always best to put the head on top so it'll freeze first. Um, and there you go. So here you go. It's a nice package. Double bag it, zip tie it, and get it in the cooler or freeze it for transport.